Hi, this is uh, Pastor Rasa Solomon. It's Rasa Solomon's YouTube channel. If you want to see all my links, so donate. Look in the description box or go to my landing page. God bless everybody. Didn't play my intro today. <laughs> all right. Um, the Lord want, wanted me to share these things. Okay, he showed me that Bitcoin... Well, I had already told y'all, he said when it gets past 30,000, then that means it's going to be a short bull run. Um, and um, he showed me the number 45-60. So what that means is we're going to see Bitcoin get to 45K to 60K before this year is out. I asked him, was Bitcoin going to go to a million dollars? Like um, somebody told me, somebody said, and the Lord said, not this year. <laughs> Um, but he showed me 45 dash 60. So 45 to 60,000, it will go to before this year is out. He told me next year he saw, I saw a hundred thousand up to 200,000 between 2024 and 2025, or was it 2026? Then he told me the Shiba Unu coin, um, was going to have some trouble and we've seen that it's happening. And um, supposedly after that trouble, it's supposed to go up. Now, how long is this trouble going to last? I don't know. But he showed me like summer, fall months that we were going to start seeing Sheba move up some. You might see it move up a little before then, but not much. But summer, fall months, we're going to start seeing Sheba move up. Um, but but not the way that um, it's supposed to. Because they're trying to ca cause a lot of people to give up on Sheba. I mean, sheep has a million sound holders, but they're trying to make people give up on it. They literally want to tank it. And they're doing a good job because it has 549 trillion coins. How could it still have that many coins with all those burns and four zeros? I mean, really, right? I'm not a guru, nor financial advisor. I'm just telling you what the Lord said. So there's still more trouble ahead for the Sheba coin. Um, and the Lord was like, the founders of Sheba, it's like they're kind of putting it on a back burner. And he and he said they're also like playing games with 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 the people. Um, what he meant by that, I don't know, but it's like they're putting Sheba on the back burner, but Sheba is supposed to be the face of everything else. And it's like other coins they've lifted up and that's surpassing Sheba and almost where Sheba is, way less coins, right? And he said they're playing games with the Sheba community. Um, you know, but these things were going to solidify out and eventually she will have some movement, small movement. And in the summer, in the fall, it'll have some, some small movements, but next year in 2025, it'll have bigger movements. And he did tell me that Maria Conwell's vision of it being $13, that will happen. And me seeing it at a dollar. And I think I know somebody else. I don't know if it's brother Johnny. Um, so it at five dollars, those things are going to come, but not for a while. So she was going to have a little more trouble, guys, before um, it's it stables out. He also told me Lunik is going to have some small troubles before it stables out because I saw a red and white rocket with Luna on it going up, so it will happen. And he also told me that the Luna Classic and Luna 2.0 will um rise up this year, but where i don't know and it's going to have problems too small problems um within the community itself and with the the creators of the coin but it too will pass and um what else was it he told me oh yeah and these coin these uh cryptocurrency places are going to start delisting coins um because these coins aren't doing good at all you know, and some of these coins are coins that were really, really good at one time that were on highs. Um, but a lot of these, we already know Binance is delisting something to do with she, right? Um, but uh, Coinbase, all of them, they're going to start delisting coins. Not a lot of coins, but they're going to start delisting coins because they're not doing good. And maybe when the market pick back up, they'll pick them back up, right? But I didn't see Sheep as one or Luna Classic or Luna 2.0, right? Um, and I kept seeing a coin. I think it's XLM because I kept seeing OX. And I know OX is connected to XLM. 
I kept seeing that rise. And then after May, I saw the XRP going up, but how far it's going to go, I don't know. And why after May, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So that's what I came to tell you about the coins. Now, I've been telling you about, about shifts happening for the past three, four years. We've had two major shifts, the Lord said. And now we're about to have a third one. People who are on a high frequency with God, you're going to start to be unrecognizable by family and friends and people you haven't seen in a long time because they're not on the frequency level as you. Some people are going to start to look younger, the Lord said. Some people's skin is going to start to be flawless. Um, some people, um, bank accounts are going to change like instantly as if you already had the money. Um, and then those people who are not up on the frequencies, their finances are going to change for the worse. And we're seeing that happen already for a lot of rich folks, right? Um, and like I showed y'all that, that video that the girl made. And I even Googled it where she said that they say your heart is in your chest. I Googled it, got pictures of it. It's in your chest, but it's really supposed to be to the left. Um, I even Googled where the kidneys are now. They're below, just a little bit by your lungs when before they were behind your back, right? So the people who know your heart is on the left and your kidneys are behind your back, you are the, the ones who are the originals. <laughs> the new humans that are on this earth that never knew about the heart on the left or the kidneys being behind the back lower and they think the heart is in the middle and they think the kidneys is under the lung those are people from other earths that have transitioned here and this is the honest to god truth i ain't get this from nobody from no video no nothing <laughs> i got it from god and the lord said that some of the people who are the original humans on this earth some of them have transitioned to another earth this is why some people you haven't seen in a long time you haven't seen in years or you haven't seen in a couple of weeks or a couple of months you haven't heard from them like there's people on on my youtube and stuff i haven't heard from them or seen them in a couple of months and they were very vibrant and keeping in touch with me you know what i mean and i asked god you know where, where are these people at and he that's when he started telling me that people are transitioning to other earths from here and others are transform transitioning here. He also told me there's a group of human beings that escaped the matrix. They live behind the ice wall. I mean, it's a lot of stuff behind that ice wall. And they want to help us to escape. But every time they try, a big earthquake's come, a big earthquake's come, something major happens. They want to flood, the, they want to break the ice wall down, but they can't because it would flood many, many places and many people would die. And this is the eyes of God truth. If it sounds off the wall and do 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 do, you know what I mean? Don't don't come to the messenger. Just go to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, the Lord said we're about to see a, a greater famine in other places. He wants you to know that's his hand. We're about to see tsunamis and floods. He wants you to know that that's his hands. Um, you're about to see people start to riot. I told you this last year and the year before. And it's in my prophecy book online. You're gonna start seeing people riot over so many things hunger food money bank collapse and i've been telling y'all about bank collapse in 2015 it's in my prophecy book about that eight mantle past present and future and it says in it it's only going to be three to five major banks and they're saying that now you know and banks are just collapsing left and right except for the big banks right thank god for that right um and the lord said don't be fearful don't you know if you are true child of him your money is safe just keep it covered in the blood you know, I mean, you can't keep your, your money at home. You know, that would cause people to try and come and rob your butt. You know what I mean? So just have faith in God. You got everything's gonna work out. Right? Um, forgive me for saying um everybody does show his name. It was something else I was supposed to tell you. Oh yeah, he told me that like a great harvest is coming, a great harvest of souls are coming because people are going to start getting worn out y'all it's about to get crazy and then i had a vision a couple of nights ago where i just saw people getting shot up killed it was in different states 
So we're going to hear about people just getting shot up and killed. You know, uh, Rose was telling me she had a dream about a man was in Texas that got shot. And I and, and there's a bar in Texas where where I recently saw people getting shot up. Right. And I seen it's either some kind of strip club or some kind of bar. I don't know if it's strip club or gay bar. In Orlando, Florida, I saw something happen in there. And then I saw something happening on the shores, the beaches of Miami and something at the airport. They're going to have big issues at the airport, either in Miami or somewhere in Florida. Right? So so look, look about that. And what else was it, Daddy? Yeah, these rides. That's coming. People are going to be riding because they're hungry. You know, all kinds of craziness you know, going on. And also the Lord said that parts of Africa was going to stop using the dollar very soon, but parts of Africa would not. And he said the parts of Africa that's going to stop using the dollar will regret it um, because it's going to be the China Wong or the Russian ruble they're going to use. And the Lord explained to me, whatever man's dollar you're using, that man owns you. And that man has something to set. So we just going to uh, leave it at that. And also Prophet Joel. We all know Prophet Joel, the great mighty man of the most high. <laughs> Who God has blessed tremendously in the past couple of months, right? <laughs> the wiki cat, stuff like that. Pray for him because I saw him going under a major, major attack. There are so many people who are jealous of him because of his new church and his new dressing. And you know just how he is, but he deserves it because no one knows the story. You know, no one knows what he did for God and what he had to go through to get where he is. Um, so they're going to be attacking him in his own country. Men of God are going to be attacking him. So just pray that he makes it through the attack because it's going to be bad. Right. They've, I even saw them trying to scandalize Prophet Joel. So if any of you know him, let him hear this little bit. You know, you don't have to let him listen to the whole thing, uh, but let him hear this. They're going to be men of God in this country that's going to attack him. And they're going to try and scandalize his name over over jealousy of blessings and how God has risen him up and brought him up. And see, my thing is, people don't know what you went through for God. You know, they only see the blessing part. They don't see the rough part. You know what I mean? So keep Prophet Joel in prayer. Let him know this so he can start fasting and praying against it. Because if he starts fasting and praying against it, he might could, you know, evade it. You know what I mean? The attack may not come. The, the, the scandal they try to bring against him may not come if he fasts and pray. This is why God warns prophets for other prophets and peoples and nation. Because we see many times I've said prophecies, others said prophecies, and um, we prayed and and God would tell. You know what I mean? Even the prophets of ancient in the Bible, same thing, you know? So just pray for Prophet Joe. Matter of fact, pray for all of us. All prophets out here who are true to the Lord that got all evilness coming after us and jealousy and all kinds of craziness. All right. So this is the end of the video. God bless everybody. I cover us all in the blood of sure Jesus who belong to God and who come to God. If you don't know God, you better come to God. If you're messing with witchcraft and stuff like that, you better get out of it. Because this is not the time to be a witch and be in this nonsense. Because it's going down. Shalom.